All right, I'm back. I got a lighter. Let's compare fire to silver. What melts ice faster? Hmm. I'm going to guess this, but it's going to be close. All right. So let's check it out. If I can do this, how am I going to do this one-handed? So here, I left for a couple minutes to wipe this down, but as you can see, without touching it, that kilo ice is all gone and melted. The cube on the napkin is still whole. The cube on the wood here is basically whole, but it has started to melt. All right, so let's figure out how to do this. We're going to go ahead and... How are we going to do... Well, we're going to figure this out. Hold on. Aha. Tripod acquired. Okay. Boom, boom. Get this mess out of the way. Let's keep these in the background so you can watch them do nothing. Because that's pretty much what they're doing. And just some shiny there to tease you. All right. We're going to put... Oh, Baba. An ice cube here. And let her go. Oh, stay. Look at that. Instantly just wants to start eating it. I better hurry. It's not even a fair race. Oh, no, you gotta stay on here there, sluggy. Holy crap, the, uh, the bar is winning by a lot. Like, by a lot, lot. Okay, I didn't see that happening. I did not see that happening. The one on the 100 ounce bar is 80% gone and this lighter on the cube is doing not a whole lot drip drip here and there. Look at that 100 ounce bow go. Holy cow. Okay, well, I really didn't see that happening. That's still a whole cube. That is pretty much gone. I, I am, I'm baffled. I'm a little dumbfounded. I did not think that would go quite like that. Well, that's it. There's no ice cube left. Fire versus ice is nothing compared to silver and ice. And remember, Inflation is coming. Inflation is coming. It's already here. Look at that. We got a little puddle. Our napkin's wet now, but we still have a whole ice cube. Our cutting board's wet, but we still have an ice cube. This is the one we started, tried to burn, and raced with this. So the 100 ounce bar melted two ice cubes. Oh, I'm getting wet. And the time that this did nothing, this did nothing, and attempting to melt one with lighter. So there you go. Another fun thing about silver, it's antimicrobial. Keep one in your pocket, keep the germs away. But I keep copper in my pocket because it is the most antimicrobial metal of all. And if hospitals made their bed rails out of it, it would reduce infection transmission by up to 95%. Shh. Independent journals have discovered that. And a few hospitals have implemented it. But yeah, I hope you had fun. That was fun. I did not expect the lighter to get whomped. I mean, it thoroughly got smoked. It's crazy. It's crazy. I keep looking over there because I'm here, but my camera's over here. I'm looking at you now, though. All right, cool. I'm Sandy C. Some uncommon sense. Get yourself some silver.
Not financial advice. I didn't even tell you to do that. Don't do that. Nope. You just maybe look at it. Ooh. Shiny. Shiny. The three-headed beast. <sighs> okay. I gotta go. Oh, yeah. Remember to like, subscribe, and comment. Tell me what you like, what you don't like. If you had fun, if you didn't have fun. You know, whatever. If you like my hair, if you think it'd look better shaved, whatever. Who cares? I care. You care. We all care. Let's do it. Have a great one. Hope your day is swell. I almost forgot to shout out Mr. Chris Taylor at Taylor Welding and Financial Fitness for, uh, this is a glove. I got it to hold the ice while I used fire. But for getting me into welding. It's all something I always wanted to do and I kind of had it a little too high on the pedestal. You know, in terms of what I had to do to achieve it. Really? Just go on Amazon? Can I say that? I don't know. I'll find out. Uh, go on to online to kind and uh, I got one for 70 bucks. Yeah, it's nothing special, but it's something to learn on and practice with. So... Thanks, Chris Taylor. Go check him out. Taylor Welding and Financial Fitness. Appreciate you, brother. Thanks, guys.